Hey, much further before we get to this damn Bajoni? According to this map, it's about 100 kilometers, more or less. Huh. You think this tin can will last till then? What's his estate like where we're going? Oh, it's aristocratic, that's for sure. There aren't many mansions these days that can afford the luxury of hiring a chambermaid, a kitchen cook, major domo, gardener, a professor, and a chauffeur. It'll do the girl good to live in the country. It doesn't sound too attractive, though, to me. What happened? How do I know? Hmm. Excuse me if I seem anxious to arrive, but I want to sleep in a bed. The trip's beginning to get tiresome. We've gone almost a day and a half without any rest. You're the only one of us who shouldn't talk of discomfort. Because when I arrive, there await for me a pair of young devils to whom I have to teach mathematics. And as always, grammar. You're expecting a good salary, though, aren't you? I'll bet you anything you get paid better than me. <laughs> Ladies' maids grow scarcer every day, while private tutors are dying of hunger. Uh, and don't exaggerate. You think this tin can can make the whole trip in one shot? Hmm. This crate, sure it can. But more than one of you is dying of boredom. The agency that contracted us and sent us to this house promised that we would get there today. Don't you worry. Is it possible that I was contracted to be a gardener in land like this? The truth is, it's hard to believe that out here they can grow tulips or oh, roses. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Hey, what's the matter? Uh, Ernest, come here. Take hold of the wheel. Step on the brake, hurry. What happened to him? He's fainted. No. He hasn't passed out. This man is dead. Ernest, cover him with something. There's a canvas in the rack. Go, though. Better take the girl outside and entertain her while we try to make this less disagreeable. Princess, how would you like to take a little walk while they fix the bus, huh? Here we go. Some? No. My throat is accustomed to lukewarm things, like a glass of good cognac. Go, though. Can I look around a little? Sure you can, but don't go too far, eh? My name is Violet, and I'm eight years old. Would you like to play with me? shattered my nerves.
Well, you've discovered a friend, eh, Violet? Yes, but he disappeared. Just like that. Ah. <laughs> and he disappeared just like that. What an imagination, Violet. Up you go. The driver must be very sleepy. Come here. Come, Violet. Sit down. What's the matter now? Why have you stopped? Mm. Hey, which direction do we take? Well, you take the one to the left, of course. We're going to Bajoni and not a... Tonia. To Bajoni, there's some 110 kilometers. To Tonia, only about 10. Yeah, and? Marcus. Ernest is only suggesting that we get some sleep in Tonia and refresh the bus and ourselves. Oh, very well, let's go. On to Tonia, then. Seems very strange, but this Tonya doesn't appear anywhere on the map. As long as Tonya has beds and something to eat, for me, that's enough. How much farther? Well, I guess around eight kilometers. I guess that's Tonia. Well, it doesn't appear very large, does it? Ah, it's a welcome sight, Tonia. Our tired and mistreated bodies will always be grateful. There's no one. They retire so early in this place. You've never lived in a small village, have you? We're in the center of town. Here we should find the hotel, the city hall, the fountain in the plaza. Never fails. Why don't we stop and look? There's a sign out there that says, Bar, Beds, Food. Bar, Beds, Food? <laughs> Do we need anything more, eh? What do we do with the body? Hmm. Hmm, this isn't bad. Notice anything strange? Strange? Such as? Where is everyone? In the village there were no people. But in a bar tavern you can always find someone. Well, it's not a village of ghosts. Someone, at least, has had a drink here recently. I'm of the same opinion as Ernest. At least, if they are ghosts, they know how to take care of themselves. Rum, cognac, gin, and local drinks. Yeah, that's quite a selection. Anybody here? There's no one. Don't worry. It's a bit chilly, no? But do you live here? No. I've been here about an hour. I took a walk around the village, but I didn't see a living soul. Could be there in church. The whole town? That's impossible. And why? Because I thought the same thing. But in this whole village, there's not a single church. Well, they'll come. Meanwhile, let's have a drink. What do you say? Thanks. Um, are you tourists? <laughs> well... <laughs> uh, something like that. You see, I travel a lot. I have an American car made in 70. I had the bright idea to take a shortcut from the main highway to gain time. For that reason, I'm in Tolnia. And I'm not sorry. Ah, oh, I forgot to tell you, there are some beds upstairs. Maybe there's no one in this village. But it's certain that they have everything ready for visitors. Hey, who's complaining? No Here one. Are. are we going to bed without eating anything? Hmm. It won't be the first time you've done it. <laughs> ah, 
<laughs> I always lose like an imbecile. <laughs> Well, you want to play another one? Eh? No, no, I'm tired. Well, okay, deal another one. Don't you think we should have waited until somebody got here? It's not very correct to enter someone's house. Well, Ernest is down below. He said he has something to repair on the coach. Anyway, there's a body that has to be taken care of. All right, it's your bid.
Good morning, miss. Good morning. You must drink this at once, or it will get cold. Your friends are already below having breakfast. If you need anything, call me. I'll be right here. All right. Boy, hot rolls. Especially in small towns. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> well, there are people here. Mm -hmm. Coffee? Thank you. I ate upstairs. Very well, miss. They're nice, these people. It's a shame they weren't here last night. <laughs> there is an explanation. With your permission? Certainly. Sit down, please. Hmm. I always like to be close to youth and beauty. <laughs> and with you, I feel very close. Thank you. Perfect, no? Permit me to present myself. My name is Boris, but everyone knows me as Major. I confess I've never been in the army, but the title is in the family. I'm a kind of mayor and as such the representative of the people of Tolnia. Uh, last night, it seemed strange not to see anyone in the village. However, if you had come to a certain place, you would have found all of us. Of course, uh, it was not logical that you would have gone there. Where? To the cemetery. They were there? Yes, yes, my dear girl. No, don't be surprised. Yesterday, one of our beloved citizens died. The village is like a big family. Because of this, we went to accompany him on his last journey. But uh, I don't want to upset you with these sad tales. Are you tourists? Well, something like that. Ah, visitors in Tolnia. <laughs> it's marvelous. Psst, psst. Major. Major, what kind of food are we going to serve out there? With the flour we had, we made rolls, but it's meat that these people need. You know perfectly well that this problem, like all others, will be solved by the Countess. that rotten leg to you, huh? <laughs> yeah. 
This meat has a real tender appearance. <laughs> you will find it is not only the appearance, sir. Only these villages buried between mountains can boast of meat of such excellent quality. Hmm. Excellent. I've never tasted anything like it. If there's anything I'm sure of, it's that. Well, that idiot Ernest is missing out because he's not here. The sauce has time, doesn't it? And uh, anise and eucalyptus. I say this because the meat has a flavor that's special. <laughs> Don't worry, sir. In no other place will you find a roast like this. Where the hell could that idiot Ernest have gone? He knows we have to leave for Bajoni as soon as possible. Well, don't worry, he'll be showing up soon enough. In a small village like this, it's not easy to get lost. It's so important that tonight you get to Bojoni. Look, Major, we have to comply with our schedule. The time we spend in an unplanned stop is money from our own pockets. Oh, no, not in our town. Each minute you are here, you are our invited guests. Permit us to make up to you for not having been here in the village to receive you. Thank you. Any one of you know the whereabouts of that idiot Ernest or where he's gone? Are you asking for me? Let's get on our way. We don't want to wait till morning. He looks like he hasn't slept. Last night he must have taken a couple of bottles from the bar, run around alone in the village. I think he wants to tell me something. Possibly that he's too damn stinking drunk to drive the bus. When you get on the bus, you will find that the body of the driver is not there. I took care of that. Oh, you've taken a load off my mind. I didn't know how I was going to present the problem to them. No one pays for hospitality with the dead one. Ah. Uh. Later on, you can tell me how you arranged it. For my part, you could have cooked and eaten the poor bastard. I'm sorry you have to leave so soon. If you go through Bojone, I'd love to see you. You can count on that. Goodbye, Alma. Bye, Luis. It's been a pleasure to have you with us, even if it's been only for a few hours. So few people come to visit Tolia. Goodbye. It's all right. What's wrong? I can't get it started. Let me see. I have to admit, I'm not much of a mechanic. Damn, Dern has disappeared again. No, he's at that car over there. It's a serious problem. I can't do anything. If in Bajoni they can fix it, we can leave it there. Well, that's something. Thanks. Come on. Let's get on our way. What's wrong now? Are we ever going to get out of this place? Are we leaving or not?
The only solution is to wait two or three days. Berto, the mule driver of Tolnia, is a sort of a messenger. He goes to Bajoni to bring us whatever we need. He'll return tomorrow. Hmm. What a solution. He could bring from Bajoni the parts of the motor that you need. It'd take just two or three days. Very well, very well, Mr. Important. You can strip our souls bare if you want in front of the whole village. We have no money. Not a cent. We're stuck here without a penny. Are you satisfied? Marcus, it's not necessary for you to go throwing your dirty garbage on everyone around you, you know. Pardon us, sir. Not all of us are like that. Thanks for everything. Well, you're all a little nervous. I was just about to make an offer that would make me very happy if you accepted. There's no other solution you can hope for, right? Except then the hospitality which we offer. Yeah, and who's going to pay? The Countess. Visitors in Tolnia. To me, it's the most agreeable surprise I've had in a great many years. When the Major told me, and I do hope you'll forgive me, but... I couldn't wait, and I requested that you come to my house immediately. The Major also told me the reason you're remaining in our village. I hope the breakdown lasts a little while. It won't be agreeable if it does. Well, we'll see. You are persons who get around, and you know many cities. You can't imagine what it might mean to me. Many years in this house, with these people, surrounded by mountains and meeting real humans who come from other lands. Yeah. That man in the painting was my grandfather Orses, actor, author, poet, and director. A Shakespeare on the rural scale. And it's from him I inherited an undeniable inclination for the theater. Um, the enthusiasm of the Countess makes us forget the motive for her asking you to come here. The Countess wishes to tell you simply that you may stay in Tolia as many days as you like without worrying about anything. And uh, above all, she would feel truly honored if you, in the name of the entire group, would accept this little gift of money. For in case of another inconvenience, when you leave us. Countess, this is too much. Please, sir, don't prevent me from spending my money on something that would permit me to demonstrate my hospitality. You are a man well read. That's quite obvious. Do you know any monologues from Shakespeare? Or anything from Browning? Or the scenes from the works of O'Neill? I did study those. I was an actor in a theater group at the university which I attended. Possibly, could you allow your young talented friend to stay here in the house for an hour or two? To recite for me some of those unforgettable works I love so much. He's at your command. You will stay here as your majordomo if you wish it. And what do you have to say to this? I'd say the time spent to make you happy would be the most important time of my life. Thank you. Ah, not another movement. Motionless as a tomb. You would allow her to enter. Would that be opportune? I think that yet she moves. No! Which is preferable? If she enters, she will surely wish to speak to my wife. My wife! My wife? What wife? I have no wife. Oh, insupportable idea. Better to have in this moment an enormous eclipse of the sun, the moon, and the stars. And this terrified world open and swallow us all. Thank you. 
You've made me happy. Thank you, Caesar. Countess, y you... No, Caesar. You don't have to tell me anything. This place isn't haunted. I simply wanted you to know that someone's watching over you. Good night, Alma. Luis.
Again, the village seems as if it were empty. But do you think they have a party in the cemetery every night? To me, after all that money the pretty countess gave away, I'd be willing to go to a funeral every night. You playing or not? Cut. Do you have very much money left? Because this time, I'll ruin you. Hmm. Appears a wind starting to blow. Seems to me it's a night not everybody's at the cemetery. I think there's somebody throwing stones at the window. How's that? What's the matter? Are you going to be drunk every night? I think I can get the bus started. There's something I want you both to see. Come down a minute. If the body of that driver shows up in that bus, I'll go crazy. certain that the bus is fixed. What was wrong? Come here and you'll understand. Well, what happened to this crate? Funny? No, I'm not being funny. I had to get you in here without anyone seeing us. But why? Oh, tell me. What is happening? I don't know, to tell you the truth. Uh, it's a succession of strange things. <laughs> strange things? The way the town is deserted every night. And there's more. Last night, I couldn't sleep very well. And I heard the driver call those two men to come downstairs, and they went. They both climbed into the bus. The motor was running. They never came out. And I heard strange noises coming from inside. And they didn't come out? No, they never did. Now the bus isn't in the plaza. Perhaps we should look for Marcus and Goto. I was hoping to do so. But they're not below nor in their rooms. I've already checked. But what about Caesar? Uh -uh. I've looked all over the place for him, too. And it seems he spent the whole night in the house of this countess that everyone's talking about. Excuse me. You can go down now. Breakfast is prepared.
bored. I don't want to play this. What do you want to do? Hide and go seek. Let's play hide and go seek. Okay, if you want to. Sure, I want to. We'll have lots of fun. But I'll hide first. Don't you look for me until you've counted to a hundred. One, two, three, four. Five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-four. I'm here on behalf of the Countess. Now it's perfect. What else can I do? The Countess says you can do your work with only your one arm.
pretend everything's all right, Alma. This character's very smart. May I join you? Oh, please do. Thank you. And your friends, are they exploring the village? Seems to me the exploration started last night. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Please, begin. Don't you ever eat, Major? Oh, like a bird. When one nears old age, it's better to abstain. But you are both young. Do start. Maybe you'll drink with us. Thank you. But from my bottle. I drink only a liquor that's distilled in Tolnia. A, a mania. Excellent. But I'm afraid you wouldn't like the taste. Guess what happened? Come. What's going on? It was nothing. Alma was frightened by something that was on her plate. Wait. Take care of the child. It was nothing. It's past now. It's horrible. One of the cooks suffered an accident while preparing the dinner. And due to an unforgivable... Forget it, Major. But it's not easy to forget, dear friend. The young lady has had a frightful shock. What can I do for you? When the Countess hears... Major, about if you don't mind, it's better not to talk about it. You're right, sir. Would you like them to prepare something, young lady? You've hardly eaten a thing. I don't want to eat anything! Violet, don't move from here. I have to talk to Marcus. Violet, I'm going out. I tell you I'm going out and you're not to move from here. All right.
Do you want to play? My mother told me to stay here. But you know, we can't play anything inside here. We'll come back soon and your mother won't even know you were gone. Well, all right. Who is it? It's me, Alma. We've got to get away from here as soon as possible. There are too many strange and dangerous things going on. Yes, too many. Oh, please get me out of here. Calm down. Calm down. We'll have to wait until night. All those people are watching us. But how can we leave? We're surrounded by mountains. And the cars aren't running. Mine is. It had a broken connection that your driver didn't want to see, probably, because he cut it himself. He did it? Mm-hmm. Why would he do it? That's not important now. I'll explain later. When night falls, I'll repair the connection and we'll leave. We have to advise the other woman and the girl. And the others? We can't worry about the others. The four of us will leave. Don't open the door for anyone. <laughs> we'll keep in close contact. Where have you gone? Violet. Violet.
Violet. That's it. But you left out one of her hands. Aren't you going to bear that too? Violet. Violet, dear, are you there? Don't worry, I'm not going to hit you.
Violet! Violet. 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 Come on. And Raquel? I don't know. Her room was empty. There's no time to look for anyone. Come on. Leave it! Start.
out of this, all right. Let's be brave. enough. We'll have to take her with us. We'll have to explain what happened. Now the danger's past. Son. Now it's out, and yet in Tolnia I never saw a ray of sun in any part. You see, it makes sense. Those creatures could live in the daylight because of that. What are we going to do? We'll go to Bojoni. We'll tell them what we saw. There's not one village where you say there is, nor any place within many kilometers around there. You two people haven't been around too long, and like youngsters, are inclined to dream. But I'm telling you, we were living there. Besides all this horror you told me about, I usually dream about things more uh, pleasant. Above all, having a companion as pretty as you are. <laughs> There's only one way to convince you. We'll take a ride in my car to this, uh... What did you say the name of it was? Tolnia? Yes, Tolnia. 
And we'd appreciate you wanting to help prove the existence of this village. Are you convinced now? Have you seen enough? Villages, no matter what size they are, aren't built or torn down in hours. Shall we go now? <laughs> 